Hey, 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 everybody. In this video, I am gonna show you guys how to trigger a workflow from the chat widget. Now, a lot of people struggle to find where this is at. It is not intuitive. You need to know where it is. Um, so we're gonna dive into that and talk through it, best practices, how to do it. This is really important. If you like this, please subscribe, give it a like, throw a comment down there, all of that good stuff too. But here's how we do it. So I'm here in a test account um, and we're just gonna go in. Let me, uh, let's, let's turn off, uh, let's do not disturb, make sure we don't get disturbed while we record this. Here we go. So I'm um, gonna jump down here into automation is where I am. Let me move my head over now. And look, I'm just going to come and hit the green button, create a workflow. So we're gonna hit the green, create a workflow, and then I'm just gonna hit start from scratch, create a new workflow. Now it's always good practice to name name your workflow. So we're gonna do uh, chat widget trigger. So I'm gonna come in here. Now this is the key bit, so we need to get our trigger. And so I'm just gonna type in here replied. We're gonna to go to customer replied, but let's go find it down here if we, if we scroll down. Um, so we're gonna come down here and I think I must have passed it. Here we go, contact actions, it's the top one here, customer replied, so I'm just gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit filter, and then on my filter, uh, I'm going to um, come down here, and so it's like kind of off the screen for me. So you got your standard filter, you gotta scroll down a bit to reply channel. Reply channel, and then we can select something, and then we can select chat widget. Now this is why it's hard to find, because we're looking for the chat widget. The customer, in my mind, they haven't replied to something yet. They've filled out the chat widget. That's not replying to us. We haven't sent them anything um, there. So the terminology makes it a little tricky to find. So now we can have customer replied. Um, we can have the customer replied reply channel chat widget. Um, now we can save this trigger and we've got the customer replied. Now we can do even better practice here and uh, name it there like that. And then we could do all kinds of things. Um, so for example, we probably um, want to uh, send uh, send them a text. So they come in, it's gonna be uh, via text that we're gonna reach back out to them. So we're gonna say, oh, that shouldn't be user form, username. So we're gonna say, uh, hi, contact first name. This is, and you can put your name or whatever. This is Alasdair from company, you know, but here, here from the, Profit packed. Uh, I saw that you messaged me on my website. Um, I'm going to text you back really soon with more details. So now they know that you're going to be getting back to them. Um, so give them that 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 holding reply. Um, so, so they've got that now. Maybe uh, I'm going to start typing it in internal here because I'm going to send an internal notification. Now, you can text yourself if you want to make sure that you know that it's coming. You can notify yourself, you know, new chat widget, um, reply a S A P. I, I also like to put in like little. Um, I like to make it colorful and fun. Um, look, you know, then you can you can do something like contact full name, just started chatting with you. Here, here's another cool thing you can do. They said, and you can put their message in this, check this out. So you go to message, message body, and you can put in there what they said. So if you can, if you're sending yourself a text or your client a text saying they, they, they did this, then you can even include the message message body um, oh and then what I uh, scroll down we're gonna go straight into the conversation so we can reply directly and we can want everyone to know so so whoever gets to it first can can start responding um, so we, we, we got that now you could do you could get fancy and do tags on if people have replied you can if no one's replied in a certain time to them you can send them another holding reply that kind of stuff now don't forget that you want to publish this and we want to save this uh, and hey presto there we go we've got that set up and you can get as fancy as you want do do all that but it's really good practice to at least send them a holding text now here's the next thing that when we see the conversations and 
Um, this is just a test account, so I don't um, I don't have a phone number, so we won't be able to see a conversation. But when you see the conversations, they're going to come in from the chat widget. Now we're going to see it in our conversation when we pick up our phone or we're in the conversations um, here, and let, let let's just at least go into conversations. So when we when we're in conversations and there there isn't one to see, um, and this is just test account let's get rid of that so when we're in the conversations but we will see what they said but remember they're going probably from their computer or if they were on their phone but from the chat on there they won't be in their text messages so don't forget to reference what they said so if they said hey i'm looking for your 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 pricing don't just reply back and say it's 497 because they might have even they they've might have forgot the question what they asked that kind of thing so when you do come to reply make sure you say something like I saw you were asking about our pricing. It's four ninety seven, um, you know, or something like that. So reference the very first time. After that, they will have on their phone in the text messages. They will have the rest of the conversation. But the very first bit, you really ought to reference what it is that they asked on the chat widget about. So I hope that all makes sense. Any questions, drop them in the comments. Let me know. Um, make sure you subscribe. Give it a like. All of that good stuff. Share it with the world. Um, and we will see you next time. Okay.